Hello, I'm Katherine Roberts from YourArtImage.com with a quick marketing tip for artists in five minutes or less. Today I want to share a story that is about the importance of nurturing customer relationships, which in my book is what marketing is all about. The other day I met with a client in person who I had been working with for more than eight months, primarily via Skype. At the end of our meeting, I casually mentioned that we were at the end of our contract, our current contract, and said that I'd be sending a summary of our time together for them to review. And incidentally, I was rushing off as my parking was up, and we parted ways quickly. Um, completely bad timing on my part. Before I had a chance to follow up, I received an email from the client who was obviously, and I need to say very justifiably, frustrated by our last encounter. Very fortunately, they explained why. They hadn't realized that our get-together, um, the meeting, was a coaching session rather than a personal visit, a social visit, and would, said they would have scheduled our last session for a different date after an upcoming event rather than when we had met. So in short, I screwed up, and in several ways, actually. I was not clear when offering to meet with my client that it would be on the clock rather than a social meeting. Uh, I had not kept the client adequately informed of where we were in the eight-month process that they had signed up for, and I had not summarized what we had achieved and what was left to do in order to, for my client to reach their goals. So, in other words, I pretty much blew it big time. So I quickly wrote back, very sincerely apologizing for my blunders and hoping to make up for my error by offering to make up the coaching session, the misunderstanding. And I have yet to hear back. So whether or not what has up until this point been a very satisfying client-customer relationship, it may be damaged beyond repair. My point isn't really about how I screwed up. We all make mistakes from time to time. Whether it's a simple miscommunication, a gargantuan mistake, or a series of small errors over time, it's up to you or me, the artist or business owner, to do what you can to apologize and do whatever you can to address the client's concern or issue. In other words, to make it right. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that the customer is always right. Absolutely not. I don't believe that always to be true. But when they are right, or even when they're wrong and it takes very, very little to resolve the issue, it is always worth your time and effort to do so. Also, I mentioned that I was fortunate and that the client expressed their frustration to me. It doesn't happen very often, but I really do want to hear from people when they are unhappy with my services. And I say that because 99% of the time when someone leaves a website or a place of business or other point of contact, we never ever get to find out why. And we may go on being completely unaware of a problem. Um, it can take months to gain a customer and it only takes seconds to lose one. A collector could have purchased three paintings from you that they love, but felt unhappy in the way you concluded or managed the fourth sale. The story that they share with their friends and family is the last one. The story of frustration, not the many previous positive experiences. So if a client or a potential customer is giving you constructive or critical feedback about your website or about your sales or commission processes, please, please, please be grateful and tell them how much you appreciate the feedback so that you can make changes or at the very least evaluate the issue. That's it for today. I'm Katherine Roberts from Your Art Image with marketing tips for artists in five minutes or less. And I hope all of your mistakes are easily resolved because we all make them. Thanks. Bye now.